Sometimes home projects get in the way of making YouTube videos. It just happens. But when I can combine 3D printing with a home project, that's a win-win. And I've been wanting to try out the Robo 3D that I got directly from the company. And I also have some Matter Hackers Gunmetal Gray PLA that I wanted to try. Well, I used it to make this, a guide for my router. I had the bit, but I didn't have the guide to cut out the perfect shape for these hinges. It just slides over the edge and then I can router them out. I'll show you how I made this on today's Filament Friday. So the channel is starting to get more support. Last week I used Filamentum and they support me through Patreon and now MatterHackers.com is supporting the channel through affiliate link that's in the description below. Anything you buy through that link I get a royalty back and it costs you nothing more. So if you want to support the channel and buy from Matter Hackers, it helps us out. Anyway, they sent me this Gunmetal Gray Pro Series PLA and I decided to use it on this hinge router guide that I found on Thingiverse.com. And this was designed by user GA3D and he used a longer bit that had a bearing the same size as the teeth. Well, I had this one. The bearing is slightly larger than the teeth and the shaft is a lot shorter. So I needed to really rework his design. So I brought it into Tinkercad and went to work. I cut it in half, I resized it so it's slightly bigger for the offset of my bearing. And then he used holes to hold, hold it in place with two screws. And I didn't really want to screw into my door. And to me it just weakens the wood. So I added these uh, ledges to it so it would clamp over the, the uh, door itself, the edge of the door. I did include two holes in these blocks at the end and the only reason I put these blocks at the end is because his design required support and I didn't want that. So once I got everything in place the way I wanted it, I grouped it together and here was the final design and this thing is so easy to print really. Just about any of my printers could do this including the DaVinci 1.0 could handle this just fine. But I decided to print it on the Robo 3D so I brought it into matter control and here it is I'll just load it into the 3D view and then I selected the uh, settings option and I chose low quality PLA and this gave me a layer height of 0 0.3 by default and then I wanted to change the infill because by default it was 0 0.2 or 20 percent so I changed it to 0.5 or 50 percent because I wanted this thing strong and then I added a raft because I wanted to make sure this thing would stick and after that, send it to the printer. And here's the finished unit clamped to the door. It fit perfect. So I went back, printed another one on the Robo 3D, and then I printed two on the Flashforge Dreamer. So now I had three of them on the door so I could just router away. And man, this was like cutting butter. I just followed the guide, went back and forth to get all the wood out of there, and I had this perfect cut. I could never chisel like this. And look at the hinge fits perfect. I just have to shoot three, th three screws in each hinge, and this door is ready to hang. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. This is going to be a tool I'm going to keep in my toolbox. So the Matter Hackers PLA filament worked really well. I'm really pleased with the results. And I printed two of these brackets on the Robo 3D. One of them I printed with a raft and one of them without a raft. And I'm glad I printed with a raft because I was having a little bit of a hard time getting things to stick to this bed. Now they recommend you use hairspray and they include a glue stick with it. So I tried the glue stick first. I haven't tried hairspray. I will probably try that next. But the raft came out beautiful. It just, it was hard to peel off. So the raft in matter control just doesn't peel as well as Simplify 3D. But I did try Simplify 3D and the auto bed level just didn't agree with my settings. So I'm gonna have to play with that some more because I couldn't get a good print to stick, not consistently. So I'm gonna work on that. And I did try some ABS on this. So there's a big learning curve. It's not right out of the box working for me, but you know, with the raft, it came out beautifully. The edges are nice and crisp. Overall, this was a beautiful print. The one without the raft, a little bit of deforming on the bottom. 
And this was important because that's where the, the router rested on. So I wanted one with a nice flat edge. So I tried printing it on the Flashforge Dreamer as well. And that one actually warped on one side. Apparently I don't have the bed exactly right. And this was sitting at a point where the bed was just, I guess, a little bit too low. So I'm going to have to adjust that. So it just shows you're always playing with these things. But I'll give a full evaluation of this Robo 3D in the future. i got to play with it some more. But I am really happy with the Matter Hackers filament. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I know this can be pretty boring making something like this. But if I don't do that, I don't have a video. My wife would have me working all day long on this. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month for the Patreon account goes a long way. And subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. We crossed 9,300, get closer to that 10K. So that's all I got. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.